What's going on everybody and welcome to the video. In this one, we're just gonna be talking about my portfolio, how much dividend income I made for the month of March. Just kind of looking over some expectations and a breakdown of my entire portfolio. So if you do enjoy this type of content, I ask that you subscribe to the channel and you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future content. But let's go ahead and kind of get straight into the video. So we can see over the past month, my gain total is about $109.26. This is about $29 in earned dividends, but it is a little bit more than that. We'll go over the exact number later in the video, up about 0.85%. So first up, let's look at my dividend portfolio. You know, my portfolio is broken up in two sectors, 80% of my dividend portfolio, 20% just passive investing in different pies. But first up, tech and cloud computing doing very well, up 9.74%. ETFs, income ETFs down 1.68%. Banking and fintech, you know, we've got a ton of talk with the whole financial sector. SVB, bank collapse, a lot of banks are seeming to be threats. To a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of controversy in this. Banking and fintech is down 11.63%. Restaurants and food down 0.37%. Consumer and stores up 1.08%. And then real estate pretty flat, only down 0.8%. So looking at my just total holdings, uh, tech and cloud computing, we've got Apple, Microsoft, Broadcom, and NVIDIA. And then we go to my income fund, just some high dividend yield ETFs, SPHD, XYLD, SCHD, SPYD, QILD. And you could say I own Jeppy, but it's really $0.65 cents, uh, just sitting there kind of because I haven't hit the sell button completely yet. Then we go to banking and fintech. What am I holding right now? I got TD, JP Morgan, there's Charles Schwab, Visa, and then Morgan Stanley. I'm a big fan of Morgan Stanley at the current time. There's another stock that I made a video on, ticker MTB. Seems to be a really good buy at the current time, but I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. Then we got restaurants and food, Starbucks for only down 0.44% over the past month. Then we got consumer and stores, trading. We've got Home Depot, Lowe's, and Costco. And then lastly, we have real estate, which right now is just realty income. There was a few others, but some things in the market happened. So right now I'm holding just realty income in my real estate portfolio. And then we kind of just come back and we can see the passive investing pie just comes down to about SPY and VU, 50-50 split. I know a lot of people think, why this, why that? I am kind of just doing it for maybe a mental health, not mental health thing, but just like kind of the mental aspect of having two split ones. I don't want to put it all in one. I kind of like seeing two. They perform very close to the same. And I believe SPY has a little bit of a higher dividend yield than VU, but VU has a little bit of a less expense ratio. There's a ton of different things that come into consideration, but let's go ahead and kind of just look at my overall portfolio and how much dividend income did I make. So just going to the portfolio track board, if you want to get access to this, link is in the description down below uh, to my Patreon. It tells you all your different things that you can do, portfolio value over time, per stock performance, up and down per stock, sector diversification, portfolio allocation, and all these different things. Right now I have 22 holdings, and then we go to the dividend dashboard. What we'll see is my all-time earned dividend is about 524 bucks. Yearly I'm supposed to make 358 bucks. Portfolio is about 2.77%. Average monthly dividend income is $29.86 and daily is $0.98. Cents. You know, it gives you a complete breakdown on everything you need to know for your portfolio. I'll just zoom in a little bit on everything. Estimated dividend income per stock, historical monthly income, dividend yield versus yield on cost, uh, all these really good different things. Dividend income by industry, annual dividend income that you've made, and monthly dividend income. And we'll break over this to total thing in a second. But annually for 2023, I made $91.50 compared to 2022 when I made $397.87. Then we go to my overall portfolio. You know, we kind of just went through all this stuff with the number of shares and all the different things that come into play. But let's go to my dividend income for this past month. So I'll zoom in a little bit more so it's easier to see. You know, with this, you can type in all the dividend income that you got, you just got to type in the month, the, the end of the year, like 23 for 2023, the ticker, how much you made, and automatically populates in here. We can see I got paid $4.58 from Broadcom, $2.78 from Home Depot, from Microsoft, $3.13, NVIDIA, $0.08, Realty Income, $1.25, QILD, $1.43, from SCHD, I got $1.47, and then from SPHD, I got $1.13, and from SPY, D, SPY Dividend, I got $1.82. From Visa, I got $0.49. Cents. And from VU, I got $5.74. And then from XYLD, I believe there was two different payments, I got $14.26, leading to a grand total of $40.16. And then all these will populate right here. It'll give you that year-to-date total, how much you made. March was the highest year for my dividend income for 2023, which is pretty big, you know. Numbers aren't as high as they were in 2022. There's some changes I made to the portfolio. You know, I used to have some higher yield. Now I have some lower yield, higher growth. Uh, I might have sold off a few positions and things like that, but still looking to reinvest all this money. So this $40.16, remember, 
always reinvest those dividends. So here we go. Buy, sell, uh, $40.16, 40.16. That's all the dividends I've made over the past month. And then I will just confirm this buy and it'll be put into my portfolio. So the next time, hopefully speaking, you know, I get a little bit more dividend income and I let that dividend snowball effect really kick into play. But everybody, that is going to wrap it up for this video. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you miss out on any of my future videos. Again, thank you so much for making it. Check out the Patreon link in the description down below. Check out M1 Finance as well. If you want to get some free stocks uh, or free 100 bucks, do whatever you want that money. It's free money. Get it while you can. And I will see you in the next video.